Hello, and today I'll be starting my new F1 23 my team career. Now, as you know, I made a mistake and I misclicked. Uh, anyways, this, this is all about my driver. Uh, this is all about the clothes, and this is my podium emote. And uh, this will be easy. Uh, team details. This is everything. I just like this color, to be fair. That's why I went for this uh, things. They are pretty good. So. And as you see, they look very good. Uh, this is the badge. Uh, team details. Uh, me is F1 team because that's the clan I'm in. This uh, sponsor, it's not hard. Because 25 constructors championship points is just one race. Win, so I imagine I can get FP5 somewhere. Mercedes have the best engine, and yeah, I picked that. Liam Lawson looks as a, a great driver, so yeah, this is everything. Uh, let's get into the career mode. New year, new drivers, new team. Welcome and great to have you with us as we move far away from the paddock to the headquarters of the newest outfit on the Formula One grid. We've been granted exclusive access with an interview not just with the team owner or the star driver, but both. Because for the first time in modern F1 history, the team owner is behind the wheel themselves. Now is a great time to bring a new team into the sport, particularly off the back of such compelling competition last year. 2022 saw huge regulation changes and it was Red Bull who came out on top in the development race. But that was last year. This year could be a very different story. Let me tell you, this facility is an absolute hive of activity and there is a palpable sense of excitement around the car they've built. Quietly, they truly believe they can challenge at the top and they've had the time now to craft a hugely competitive race car. But theory is one thing and taking on the brightest lights in motorsport is quite another so how does the owner of f1's 11th team feel as they prepare to be thrust into the limelight of the f1 circus new driver lineups qatar returns las vegas debuts and the engineering race continues to push the sport and the drivers to new heights what are they aiming for most excited about most nervous for well, soon we will meet them to find out. But first, let's take a look at the brand new car. Well, hi, thank you so much for having us. Great to be here. I'm gonna start with the question that everyone is asking. It's been a long time since we've seen a team owner drive their own car and a lot's changed since then. The sport has really evolved. So how are you gonna manage the responsibility of doing both roles? And tell me about your teammate. They're clearly very excited to have signed with you. What do they bring to the team? So tell me about the work on the car. It's clearly a blank canvas. You've done a lot. What have you prioritized? Now, there's no getting away from the fact that your competitors have a huge amount of Formula One experience. You are a total newcomer. 
Tell us where you see the opportunities to make those vital performance gains. Now, ultimately, your success this season will be determined by whether you can take positions from other drivers. Where do you believe this car has the edge? And with so many disciplines and experts working so closely together here at your HQ, who gets the coveted teacher's gold star? Who are you most proud of as the first race edges ever closer? Well, I could talk to you all day. Thank you so much for your time, but I better let you get back to work. There's plenty more still to do. All the very best for your inaugural F1 season. Okay, so this season, uh, our first season, we are going to have these tracks. These are, I think, my favorite 16 tracks out of the 23. I didn't want it to be that long, the season. Uh, also, uh, they will be changing a little, I think, every season. So we got Jeddah, Miami, Imola, Monte Carlo, Barcelona, Montreal, Spielberg, Silverstone, Spa, Zandvoort, Monza, Singapore, Qatar, Sao Paulo, Las Vegas, and Abu Dhabi for the season ender. Today we'll be starting uh, the Jeddah GP and also throughout the season I will uh, always be uh, doing uh, upgrades, so we'll be doing uh, good with the car. I don't think I want to get them on camera because they might be a little bit of too much time. So yeah, uh, let's get uh, right into it. Okay, so now we're in qualifying of the Jeddah Grand Prix and in lap 1 uh, we end with a 132.8 not the best of laps but we got a good start but not a good qualifying I couldn't get a better lap and we got P20 now let's get into the Grand Prix Months of rumour and speculation all come to an end today as we return to racing for the opening event of what promises to be an enthralling season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. So let's take a look at the topographical map of the Jeddah Street Circuit. As you can see, a number of challenging corners for the drivers to master here. We'll see just how much the teams have benefited from their time spent in practice this weekend. And like many street circuits, this track has the potential to punish drivers that get it wrong. Let's hope we avoid any safety cars today. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Perez, Russell, Sainz, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Ocon, Gasly, Bottas, Liam Lawson, Stroll, Albon, Sonoda, Magnussen, Joe, Holkenberg, Oscar Piastri, and the owner driver rounds off the grid. De Vries. And now it's time to head down to the track. A new season then, a clean slate where anything could happen. 
Anthony Davidson is with me today as once again we get another year of Formula One underway. We're into those tense few minutes before the first race then. Everyone's a little bit nervous about reliability. They haven't been running in the hot, turbulent wake of other cars in practice. They've not been pushing at 100% for long durations. Let's hope no one has to deal with any nasty surprises. Now we're gaining on Liam Lawson and I'm going to try to go around the outside or actually this is going to be have to go for lunch on Liam Lawson he goes around the outside no from contact and we are ahead of my teammate now we're gonna to have to gain on Pierre Gasly we need to overtake him in order to get points in our first race in Jeddah and Pierre Gasly is ahead now I'm gonna try to maybe switch it back in this corner and I'm going to go for the switch back, but we still are right behind Pierre Gasly, and I overtake Pierre Gasly. We're only a place away from Bottas, which is in the last place of the points. The P10 would be very good for the first uh, race, and. We are going to try to gain on Bottas. But he's a little bit too far away. But we're going to also use the RS. And maybe, can I go around the outside? He's too far ahead. And now we are going to use the RS. With ERS, Pierre Gasly is behind. And it looks like the pit crew are out of the lane and ready to perform their magic on the car. They're going to be aiming to achieve the fastest pit stop time possible. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross onto the track.
What? We came right behind Stroll. And by the way, guys, you might be wondering, what is my pit type? Uh, so, in when I was doing qualifying, for some reason, the, uh, I couldn't do anything. And I just noted that so many settings have been changed alone. I don't know why that happens. But for me, it happens a lot, to be fair. And the problem is that the pit stop experience was broadcast. So I couldn't even do anything. And now I'm going to have to uh, make it uh, broadcast. Not broadcast, actually. In the next episode, which we're going to have, I believe, the Imola GP. And... Uh, yeah, maybe we can get a better pit stop there. We are not doing anything good, and now Tsunoda is gaining. And he's gaining some time. I need to try to... Uh, st stay ahead of Liam Lawson and a lot of the other cars. And I'm in Peter. Wait, how did Gasly get that far ahead? Where is he? Wait, Gasly's behind? Gasly's in P2. Oh, okay, he has not stopped. What? What just happened? For some reason, we got a three second penalty. And I didn't even notice. What? What is going? What is going on? Why do I have damage? No! 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 What? I'm out! Oh my god! How can we even DNF in the first race? Oh my! Uh, I know you can use flashbacks, but I just wanted actually making sense without. Of the Jedi GP. Not a good start. They've delivered an outstanding performance today and under intense pressure to take a well earned victory at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. But what set them apart from the rest? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today, and it's great to see it paid off for them. They do so much for the sports that you can't help but be delighted by today's race win. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. And thanks to his performance today, Sergio Perez is now our new... Okay, guys, so I'll see you in the next episode in the Miami GP, and uh, bye.